All right, today's project on this utility trailer, I want to flip the axle to make the ride height taller, give me more clearance for off-road applications. So first thing I gotta do is get under there and look at the axle. This is from 1981, it's a 1981 Carson trailer, utility trailer. I welded up this extra frame up here, here and here, going up. All right, I got it on some jack stands in the back and I have it hooked to the truck in the front and our wheels are off the ground. Let me go ahead and pull these wheels off so we can get to the axle a lot easier. I guess first first things I'm gonna do before I pull the wheel off, I'm gonna go under there with a straight edge and see what's up with that, with that axle. If it's got too much of a bend in it, we're not gonna be able to do this. Cause the only way you could do this without cutting off the spring perches. So you see these things right here? These things are welded to the axle. And the only way to do this without cutting these off and putting them on the top up here and welding them back on is by spinning the axle all the way around 180 degrees to put these perches on the top. So in order to put those perches on the top, we have to spin this. But if we spin this and there's a bow in it, then it kind of defeats the purpose of the crown or the bow or whatever you want to call it. So let me get a straight edge on this first before I take these tires off. All right, so I did do a little bit of crude measuring and I did, I did use my straight edge, which is not very long. And I don't see a significant bend in this axle. And for one of two reasons, either this thing was manufactured before they really start putting the bend in these things, or the thing is so old and it has kind of just bent itself straight again. I don't see a very significant camber on it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull these leaf springs off. We're gonna pull these off. We're gonna spin this all the way around and we're gonna put this axle on the bottom of these leaf springs to give us a little bit higher of a ride height. And, and you know, it's not that it's really going to do a whole lot for my clearance from this to this. It's going to be more about my clearance of this and this. And also it's going to give me more room between the fender and the tire for the tire and the fender to be rubbing. Or if I want to put taller rims and tires on this, I'll be able to. And also something that doesn't really matter but i'll mention it for those guys that do care you know how you know how when you guys see a trailer going down the road and you got a lifted truck like i do the trailer is way up here the trailer is way up here and or the truck the front of the trailer is way up the back of the trailer is real low okay well we're, it's not going to look that stupid anymore that height difference won't be so crazy. All right, let's get to work. I need to get, I left my grease gun in my semi truck, but I'm gonna have to bring that grease gun home and grease these bearings. Those tires are almost brand new. All right, one side is out, one side to go. Okay, second side, second side is out and loose, okay? These U-bolts had almost no problem taking the nuts off of those U-bolts, so we're gonna reuse those U-bolts. The other side, are horrendously rusted and corroded and I felt like they were on the verge of snapping off when I was unbolting them. So I went out and bought a set and uh, we're gonna put these on the passenger side just to save myself the time and headache of cleaning up those threads on those other U-bolts and uh, yeah, they're pretty trashed. So now, it's time to 
unhook the front hanger, slip this out, bolt that back up, and then put this upside down and bolt it to the bottom of the leaf springs. So we're gonna need a jack to bring that up there and to get it started. Do you guys ever use these wipes, fast orange wipes? They are so great. They're a little expensive for how many wipes are in there? There are 72 wipes in, in here and you get this at Walmart. They're about $12, I think, for this bucket. But they are so worth it. They work so great on your hands, it's unbelievable. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to jack the trailer up some more because I got to set this axle. I got to be able to set that axle on that jack stand and we're not going to clear. So I'm going to have to jack up the whole trailer a little bit more.
Easy peasy, tight and sleazy. All right, let me tighten this bolt up and I'll be right back. You guys see how much higher it's going to be? I would say that's at least four inches, maybe, maybe six. Oh, you got to love working with rusty bolts, don't you? And I'm going to tighten this one back up because I did break it loose. All right, now this plate goes up here now instead of on the bottom. And our U-joints come up from the bottom. So instead of going down this way now, they're gonna come up here. I hope I don't have any problems putting these back on because the other U-bolts that I just bought were $32 for the pair. I really don't want to buy another pair. It's like you got to find the exact nut that came off the exact side because you know, that rust is like built in there. It's like a fingerprint now, you know what I mean? There it is. There's that one and that one. Okay. All right, I think we'll be good. I think we will be good, maybe.
All right. Should we put the wheel on first or should we go tackle the other side first? I think we'll put the wheel on. There ain't no reason to come back over here. Everything looks good. Oh, I gotta jack this thing way up to put the wheel on. Way up. Is that enough? Is that enough, guys? Ooh, barely, barely. If you guys are enjoying this this video hit that like button for me and also let me know in the comments questions concerns comments criticism let me get it all all right we got this beast we got this beast from harbor freight I got the Bauer. I got the Bauer half inch. Ugga dugga gun. Ugga dugga. Yes, those will be torqued to the proper spec later on today, or actually in about 20 minutes. All right, let's go tackle this other side, All right? Wouldn't that be funny if I went through all this and then I couldn't get this hanger undone right here? That would be tragic, wouldn't it? All right, as you can see, we have had success. What is interesting though is this bolt did not spin at all, which means it's nice and frozen in there. I might have to hit it with the impact to get it loose. Oh yeah, that thing is super frozen up in there. Let's get that impact. You know, I love, I love these old utility trailers. Well, not even old ones, new ones too, but I love this basic angle iron design. It's so simple to work on. The only problem is when you hit your noggin on this metal, it's not fun. It's not funny at all, right? No, sir, it's not funny. But I love these trailers. Um, I plan on buying a couple of dual axle ones because the dual axle ones are even longer than this one. This is a very long trailer. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like 12 and a half. Or I don't know, I'll, I'll measure it again for you guys later, but basically it equals 10.98 or 10.89 yards. So it's an 11 yard dumpster, basically. It's an 11 yard trailer. So, but if I get the dual axle one, the jets are coming. But if I get the dual axle one, it'll be able to carry more weight. Now this used to have, looks like it used to have brakes on it, electric brakes. I might or might not put electric brakes back on this one. I'm not quite sure. But I'll tell you what, this is such a money maker. This thing is such a money maker. To fill this whole thing in Phoenix is $550. So if I come to your house or your business 
and I fill this thing all the way to the top from end to end, it's a $550 charge. And that's that's good. I mean, that's market rate. That Sometimes that's actually a little below market rate. In places like Kingman and Bullhead City, this whole trailer fills for about 400. It was 400 a year ago when I was doing junk calling out there. It could have been, it could have raised up to about 450 because we've had a lot of high income people move to Kingman. But yeah, this is a, this is a $500 job all day long. And it takes, you know, it takes 30 minutes to an hour to fill this thing up. And then it takes about 15 minutes to unload it at the dump if it's all the way full, right? So anyway, uh, I love these trailers. When I finally do get my acre of land, I'm going to buy these things and rebuild them and sell them to people that need them. I love working on them. I welded all this up with my, with my friend's welder. I didn't do the greatest job, but it hasn't broken. And I've put a lot of weight in this thing and I've banged it around and I've driven it 75 miles an hour on the freeway and off road and over curbs and everything. So, all right, let me get the impact for this hanger. Grab a jack stand, stay there. Yep, I figured I was going to get to the last bolt and it was going to give me problems, right? The last bolt. All right, since I live in somewhat of a bougie neighborhood, Instead of banging on this thing all day with a sledgehammer, I'm gonna put some of this PV blaster in here and let these beautifully toxic chemicals do their job and we'll come back in five minutes. All right, we've let that thing cook for about five minutes. that loose oh blah, bless me it's loose I don't want to damage these threads. So we're going to put this nut back on. Yes, 
success. Yes, we have success. Oh, I done screwed up. <laughs> I tightened that other side all down and up, and now I can't do this, can I? Well, I guess we're going to have to take out the back hanger. That'll be the fastest way to do this, take out the back hanger. Let me get to it. Somebody got some fishing line stuck around this thing. These U-bolts are slightly longer than my old ones. I don't think it's going to do much damage. I might have to go back and cut these down later on.
Looks like they're about an inch longer. Yep, an inch longer. It's not really going to make a difference unless I have like six to eight thousand pounds in here. But then again, the stuff that I haul is not heavy like that. I just haul household and commercial junk like desks and chairs and refrigerators and couches. You know, stuff that's just too big and bulky for most people to handle. Just awkward lightweight awkward bullshit you know what i mean and then maybe some dirt bikes a side by side you know so really these bolts being longer aren't really gonna be too detrimental Yeah, I'll probably definitely wind up going in here and uh, and cutting this off for sure. Look at this cheap Chinese lock washer. You see how it just mushroomed out from underneath? Straight trash. Damn, this thing is gonna be higher than my truck now. It's okay though. No, I don't think it is. If it is, it's, it's not gonna be nothing crazy, noticeable. Maybe just an inch, inch and a half. Look at that gap. Look at that gap. That is insane. That's good though. That is good. Oh. 
Oh yeah, we could take, I could take this to the lake and take it all the way down to the water if I wanted to. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. Hey, something I wanted to say real quick. Dealing with this hardware that's original from 1981 is beautiful compared to using this new shit. This new metal, you could just tell it's softer. The, the hardware, like the nuts, the bolts, the, the U-bolts, they're just, you could tell they're softer now than they, than they were in 1981. It's just such a breeze. It's, it's such a breath of fresh air to work with stuff that's 40 years old and it's still as strong as, almost as strong as it was 40 years ago, you know? Some of this new shit, it's, as soon as you tighten it down, it's weak. You've weakened it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I wish I could do more videos like this. This is my passion. Like working on things, showing people how to do things, maybe not the right way, but it's your project. And if you choose to work on something and you wanna take that risk of it working or not working or breaking later on down the road, that's on you. Nothing I show you in these videos is meant to be advice. Don't take my advice, consult an expert, obviously. And uh, I got one more thing for you guys. Damn, that thing came out looking absolutely perfectly even. Nice.